Hey folks, my name is Mel Fernando. I'm a principal product manager in the Microsoft Identity team. I work with customers who use uh, Azure Active Directory and uh, I help them with uh, deploying Azure Active Directory and all of the cybersecurity policies that come with it. Um, one interesting one is called a conditional access policy, which um, allows admins to decide what uh, controls they put in place when users and employees access their Microsoft 365 tenant and how they can protect the data. Now, as I was working with my customers, I realized that um, while you can go into the admin controls and configure it, there wasn't a really visual way to see the conditional access policy to understand how that policy was happening. And the admins were finding it hard to communicate the policies to stakeholders like cybersecurity architects or to their um, to managers and folks who needed to understand how it worked. Um, for example, even the risk uh, teams, um, because it was all the sort of you know technical. You go into an admin console and configure it. So I came up with an idea to create like a PowerPoint uh, document that would take those conditional access policies and create a visual representation of the policy. Um, and I was looking at how I could go about building it, and I stumbled across the Sync Fusion uh, controls, which uh, allowed you to use the Sync Fusion API to generate the PowerPoint presentations. The neat thing is there is a community control which could be used for open source projects and so on. I reached out to the Sync Fusion team. Uh, they were happy for me to use it uh, for my hackathon project. Um, and so I went ahead and built the solution. Uh, and I'll give you a quick demo of the solution. Um, I was able to do it all really fast within, you know, uh, a few couple of days. Uh, I got the first mock-up working in in less than an hour or two, and then I spent uh, the week polishing it up for the hackathon. Um, so this is currently available. If you go into um, idpowertoys.com, that's where I have sort of hosted the solution. It uses a React application but calls into uh, .NET Core app in the back end to do the generation. Um, my first version of this actually used Blazor and the Blazor controls in Syncfusion to do it. The only catch was with, with Blazor, because it's on the client side, the performance wasn't that really good. Um, but Syncfusion worked across, the controls worked on Blazor as well as on uh, the server side on the .NET Core. So I was just able to take that same code with very little changes and have it running on the server. Maybe one day when Blazor performance improves, I can just move it back into the client um, as well if needed. So here's a quick demo of uh, what how it works. Um, there is this conditional access policy documenter. You click through to it. There are lots of config options that you know you can give as part of the generation. Um, and all the user will need to do is they need to sign into the tenant, which I've already done. Um, I click the generate documentation option, which calls into uh, my .NET Core app uh, that's running on Azure, uh, which does the presentation, takes a template file, and um, generates the presentation out of it. So you can see this. Uh, all of this was done with Syncfusion uh, presentation, the PowerPoint APIs, fill in all the details and it goes through and fills out all of the conditional access policies and uh, fills in the data that's needed to bring this up. So it was uh, really easy to build this. It goes through all of the different code and you can see how I've been use, be able to use different formatting to um, bring the show which, which parts of the control policies were enabled. So admins really like this view because they can see now uh, like a visual representation of their policy and then they can also mail this powerpoint deck to all the you know cybersecurity folks and other stakeholders um, to explain how their security policy is set up um, just switching to the code i'll go into the vs code here um, so the neat thing is i'm a mac dev and i was able to use um, syncfusion with .NET core running on the Mac uh, with Visual Studio for Mac. Um, I switched between Visual Studio for Windows and the Mac, and that's another neat thing uh, with the Syncfusion.NET Core version of the API. Um, so you can see I use a PowerPoint template, uh, really easy to go through, 
use the slides, um, add slides with all of the different information and uh, basically generate the generation PowerPoint out of that and save it. Uh, yeah, so that's basically how I built the application, what it does, and I'm really uh, grateful to Syncfusion. Uh, and this is available open source. If you go to GitHub, um, if you go into the uh, community, uh, github.com slash ID Power Toys, uh, the source code for this app is available. Um, you can use use that and uh, you know, clone this. I've had many people already clone and run run this locally themselves uh, for those who wanted to do it. Um, and you can use the Syncfusion community license to uh, start get started. And then if you're using it for enterprise use, make sure you get the, the right licensing set up. Cool. That was my demo.